Holy smokes, guys. Since my last video, so much has happened. Such as, oh, I don't know, a Stanley Cup champion, Dion Phaneuf, finally renamed captain of the Leafs, amongst other things. And in which, of course, I'd like to say, it's not my fault. You see, the tech, the technical difficulty finally wasn't on my end, and it was on YouTube's end. I'm not even kidding. I'm not going to explain. I'm just, I'm, I don't, I don't even know what to think anymore. So let's get down to the big trades and whatnot. So how about this trade? The Montreal Canadiens, they need to pick between Carey Price and Yaroslav Halak. Now honestly, I think you and I can both agree that Halak should have been the guy they picked. But did they pick him? Montreal traded Halak to St. Louis. And in return, they got Lars Eller and Ian Schultz. How about a fun fact about Lars Eller? Now this guy, you can add him as one of the many players who could have been a Leaf. Eller was involved in the original trade. That's, that was the, four, the first, second, and fourth that went to San Jose. And in return, Leafs got Toskala and Mark Bell. Now when I first saw this trade, I was like, wow. Is what is Mo is Montreal high or something? Like, are they seriously stoned? But then I thought about it again. They most likely weren't going to re-sign Halak because Carey Price is the poster boy. Nobody messes with Carey Price. Nobody will get in his way. But now Carey's your guy. Montreal fans, are you happy about that? So now the next trade, which Boston Bruins wanted to add some scoring, so they got Nathan Horton and Gregory Campbell, and in which return they are, and Florida in return is getting the 15th overall pick in this year's draft, and Dennis Wideman. Well, this is not a script; it's just a piece of paper with all the trades and everything like that. If you can read that writing, you're pretty cool. I don't really know if Nathan Horton is really the right guy for them. I mean, I'm happy Florida got rid of them. I'm happy for them. Don't work. Don't. Don't. No. No. Don't say that. I'm happy. But Horton, I believe, is a little bit, just a teeny tiny bit overrated. But then, this trade single-handedly is the reason why I'm making a video today and not tomorrow. Chicago? Remember when they had salary cap issues and this is going to be the last time they had that full team together? Well, they weren't kidding. Because Chicago just traded Dustin Bufflin, Brent Sopo, Ben Eager, and a Kim Alu. I hope I pronounced that right. If I didn't, help me out in the comment box below. And Atlanta, in return, to gain the 24th overall pick in this year's draft, the 54th overall pick, Marty Reisner and Jerry Mann. Oh, Morin. Oh, I made it very boo boo. -boo. It's actually Jeremy, not Jerry, Jeremy Morin. Don't know where I got Jerry from. I really don't. You can clearly tell Chicago lost this trade. So what are your thoughts on that trade and all the other trades that happened? But I also want to mention a couple more things before we go. The last thing, I want to hear, I want to know what you guys think about San Jose not offering a renewal contract to Nabokov. By the way, I have finally reached over 50 subscribers. Thank you so much to every single one of you. Thank you. If I haven't thanked you yet in your profile, I apologize. But thank you so much. Anyhow, so I will be seeing you probably Friday morning. I'm going to be seeing you on Friday or Saturday with my reaction to the draft. Anyhow, see you later. Boom.